Hi guys, my name is Claire James Cole and welcome to episode, I need my hand, I've got my iPad in my hand, I'm like I can't do six. Six? <laughs> welcome to episode six of what the, I've completely, completely forgotten what I'm playing. Episode Mean Girls Sorority Year. Last episode we, Tamara said that we were going to do this auction where the girls are going to uh, raffle off, like auction off um, a date with themselves. So, I'm assuming in this episode, we're going to have that charity auction. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Hmm, what should I wear to the auction? Guess what I've forgotten to do? Buy gems. Oh, nothing too flashy or you'll look desperate. It reminded me because I thought about the best outfit is going to be a gem outfit. You need a dress that's classy, understated and ideally black. Let's... Let's have a look, oh, excuse me, let's have a look at this elegance in black. Now this is going to get you the highest bid at the action, at the auction. <laughs> uh, it's 24 gems, right, let's uh, let's just have a little look at what the rest of the stuff. Mm, bit too girly. Dark and romantic. I mean that's nice, I would rather that, but hang on. Let's see how much gems are. Gems. Two, I could spend 199, but I only get 22 gems. I've got five, so I've got 27. Could I do that? I've forgotten how much it was. Gems are kind of expensive, aren't they? Because everything is, is like so expensive. Like one, to choose to do one good thing, it costs like 20 odd gems. No. If, um, who are the makers of episode? Makers of episode, if you could maybe get in touch with me and Send me some gems so I could show people the options, please. That'd be that'd be good if you wouldn't mind doing that. I might email them and see if uh, <laughs> if they might send me some gems so I can show you. I'll try that. All right, I'm not gonna do it for now. I'll see if um see if they might gift me some gems. So for now, I'm gonna go with dark and romantic. I know I keep promising every episode. I'm like next episode I'll have gems. I just keep lying to you, don't I? <laughs> I'm gonna in between episodes see if they will send me some gems and if they won't send me any gems I feel like it's kind of a waste I'm gonna buy some like okay I will buy some definitely before next episode just like a 199 one so I've got enough to do like one good thing right uh heck yeah you look like a million bucks and hopefully those frat boys will think so too she does scrub up quite well doesn't she to be honest oh here's Karen hi again it's me Karen Karen Smith, remember? <laughs> From my show Karen Uncensored? Anyway, welcome back, because this is another episode of, in case you forgot, Karen Uncensored. What's the matter with her? Oh, what's going on? Oh, of course, it's the auction. $20. Do I hear 25 25 for Gretchen Wieners. For those of you just tuning in, this is a charity auction. An auction is where people stand in a room and yell out numbers. <laughs> quite what it is is it really Karen in some cultures this is called bingo hi Karen no offense but do you even go to this school I actually have to charge my phone doesn't um I meant to say this in the last episode doesn't uh, I've forgotten her name Janice doesn't Janice look really nice in this dress she had it on in the last episode as well I can't believe you showed for this I figured you'd burn the sorority house down in protest not till I get more dirt for my article. Listen. D-man, G-money. <laughs> hey, we were talking here. Uh, right, sorry. Catch up with you later, bro. See how pretty she looks. Bro? I say bro now, it's a thing. <laughs> Listen, can you bid on me in this ridiculous farce? I'm going to do my best to play perfect sorority girl up there. But I'm afraid these frat guys might see through the act. I just need to make sure I get through this round of cuts. I think I'm about to uncover something really big about this sorority. <sighs> Juicy. Yeah, J-bomb, no prob. Did you just call me? God, I'm getting so fratty. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Next up, Janice Ian. I wonder how much she's gonna go for. Opening bid is $10. She's worth 50. Ooh, who's that? Uh, 55? 60. Just a quick note about my ideal date. I like long walks on the beach and candlelit dinners. In my free time, I love to shop and I'm addicted to shoes. I mean, can you ever have too many? 
So yeah, girly stuff. 100! That's so not Janice. Sorry Janice, I get to hang out with you for free. <laughs> Bad wins. Ah, oh, woohoo! <laughs> He's really pleased about that. Oh, here's a uh, Gretchen, I was going to say. So not Gretchen. Here's Regina. For Regina George, our breakout star, we'll start the bidding at $100. 200 Well, we're at 200 already. You like the cupcakes, I hope. Oh, here's a... I like coming. Hey, I did actually. I appreciate the role reversal. <laughs> Glad I got on your good side. <laughs> He's a bit of a creep though, maybe. I don't know. And sold Regina George with $500. Wow. A new house record. I'll have to sell my car, but it's worth it. Naturally. $500. Oh, crap. I'm up next. That's my cue. Oh, he's going to bid. Are you nervous? I wasn't until just this second. Now my hands are doing this gross sweating thing. Yeah, I remember being nervous for this part of the process when I was rushing. I'd love to help you beat Regina's bid. Do you want to sneak up to the meeting room for a second? I can prep you for the questions tomorrow is going to ask. I'll even get one of the other girls to go up next so you have more time. This is going to be a gem situation, isn't it? What do you say? Ah, no thanks, I'll tough it out. That was painful to have to do that. That's a sweet offer, but I think I'll be okay once I'm up there. Good luck. Hopefully it'll go well. Hey Green Eyes, you ready? Yep. How do you feel? Uh, super lucky, pretty nervous, who cares? Super lucky. Definitely feeling lucky about tonight. I have a good feeling. Guess we'll see if you're right. By the way, I saw you talking to Cameron. Yeah, he's a really nice guy. Uh-huh. Well, remember, you need at least $200 to make the cut. Okay, everyone, up next is Green-Eyed Gemsical. Oh, I hope you will bid on me. <laughs> Green-Eyed, why don't you tell the boys a little bit about your ideal dream date? Oh, seeing a play, a romantic dinner, a walk on the beach. A walk on the beach. I do like a nice walk on the beach. My perfect date is a walk on the beach. With the lake so close, I'm a sucker for the old-fashioned walk on the beach. And a combo of a good conversation, of course. I totally nailed it. You heard her, boys. Whichever one of you wants to line up to take Greenoid on that perfect date, we'll start the bidding at one dollar. One dollar? Why she said that? That's not very nice. Wait, only one dollar? At just one dollar, Green Eyed Gems Call is the night's best deal. I'm so insulted. One dollar. One dollar right here. One dollar it is. Do I hear a dollar fifty? The bids are only going up in fifty cents, so she's never going to make it. Oh, so sad. Nice knowing you, Delta Muta. Cameron's going to come and save the day, isn't he? One dollar to Damien. Going once. Going twice. Off you. I bid $400. In case you guys didn't know, that's a lot of money. <laughs> Say what? You heard me. $400 on Green Eyed Gems ago. Oh, thanks Cameron. Look at that scowl. She scowls back again. Fine. Green Eyed sold to Cam for $400. Way to go, Green Eyed. Yay, Cameron bought us. Regina's not happy about that. Oh wow, thank you, you totally saved me. My pleasure. Uh oh, battery's dead, don't you just hate that when that happens? Okay, it's 6.45. If I hurry, I have just enough time to change before Mika's. And where do you think you're going? I knew we wouldn't make it to Mika's thing. Tamara, I have a really important date with Cam to go on right now. I thought we could do it a little later. Do we really have to? If you don't do the date tonight, the bid is forfeit and you're cut from Delta Mutau and your sisters will have a whole extra week of rush. Do you really want to be responsible for that? Well, no, but good. Then it's settled. All dates happen immediately post-auction. Oh, this is, this is just so bad. Imagine being Mika 
and this happens, she's going on a, and I know it's all for whatever charity auction thing for this thing, I'd be pissed if I was Mika. <laughs> so pissed. <laughs> okay, have tons of fun. And she, we're not even got a phone to like, let him know. Is she, please say we're gonna let him know when I'm gonna completely stand him up. I promise that you won't have that bad a time. Oh, it's not the point, is it? The cat's coming. Oh, we look miserable. And then I said to the guy, that's not a duck, that's a gosling. Ha 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 Oh, funny joke. Yeah, that's definitely a great story. Really? I thought it was more of a joke. Oh, right, right, that's what I meant. So, Green Eye, tell me a little bit about you. I know you hate baking. <laughs> oh, no. Why didn't, like, surely somebody had Mika's number like Janice or Damien or somebody there had Mika's number that we could have got in touch with them about. Oh no, now I can't even text Mika that I'm running late. I bid on you because I really thought tomorrow was being unfair to you up there. But I'd also like to get to know you more. Uh-huh. And in your spare time, you mentioned something about being a ninja. <laughs> Who uses a homemade flamethrower to fight evil? Right, definitely. Wait, what? Just checking to see if you're actually listening. <laughs> it seems like you don't really want to be here with me. Oh, oh, Cam, I'm so sorry. I'm being rude, aren't I? You seem distracted. Who would do this? Why wouldn't we just say... I've got a... Like, I can't imagine where I would do this in a real situation. With my boyfriend waiting for me, I'd go on a date. Whatever it was for... It just... It's... It's annoying me. <laughs> Everything I go, rah, I don't know what that rah was. <laughs> it's just that I promised my boyfriend I'd help him out tonight. Oh, we are telling him. He has a really big audition, but I need to be here for the sorority, and it's just a lot of pressure. Hey, that's no big deal. Why didn't you say something? I didn't think that I'd help, help you out. Of course I will. I'll tell tomorrow I did the whole date, and we had a great time. I'll even give her proof. Come here. Selfie time. Smile! Aw, oh, nice. I'll post it to my feed right now. Oh no, Mika's gonna see it. It's not gonna be good. Cam, you are tr Cam, you are really, truly the best. My knight in shining football pads. I'm more of a lacrosse guy, but I get the metaphor. <laughs> Go, if you hurry, I bet you can make it. Thanks, Cam. We won't, we're not, not gonna make it. It's not gonna end up that good, is it? Surely. Oh dear. We look sad. Oh. Hey. Mika, I've been looking all over for you. He doesn't look too annoyed. So, maybe. My phone died, so I couldn't call you. I went to the theatre. I tried your dorm. Nobody had seen you. I came here to wait for you after the audition. I was worried when you never showed up. But clearly you're okay. I'm sorry, I'm so, so sorry. Don't worry, it's a little late to be sorry now that it's over with, so I really am sorry though. This sorority thing ran long, and if I didn't finish, everyone would have been penalised. Please don't be angry. What sort of thing? Oh, he's not angry at the moment, but he's gonna be in a second. It was a, a team building activity. It'll sound stupid if I go into detail. I was disappointed, but hey, this stuff happens. Did the audition go okay? Actually, it was terrific. I got to partner with Adrian, and we had the exact emotional authenticity I was searching for. Well, I want to hear all about it. Come on, let's go inside and... Greenoid, are you back already? Well, you're back as well, obviously. <laughs> Mika, you must be so super proud of your lady. She's gonna cause a bit of trouble, isn't she? She brought in Boku, Boku, boot books at the dating auction. Wait, what dating auction? For the sorority rush event, silly. Greenoid even snagged the frat president as her honey for the night. Don't they just look adorbs? Uh oh, now he's mad. Cam just posted it and totes reblogging. So you lied to me? No, I didn't. You said it was a team building activity and you were on a date with some other guy? Well, yes, technically, but... And then you lied to me about it. 
you blew off my major audition and then lied right to my face. It's never a good idea, is it? I mean, she should have just explained it. You might have understood. Mika, just let me explain. Don't bother. Oh, Mika, whoopsie. I hope it wasn't something I said. We've got ourselves into a right little mess there, haven't we? Oh, poor Mika. We definitely don't deserve Mika. Mika's like a really good guy and we keep kind of crapping all over him, really, don't we? But hey, right, thank you so much for watching this episode. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye.